it's been a busy department this year. We have been a busy department for the last few years, and we're getting busier. Okay. And let me see. Building the frozen space. Yeah. And we had a few questions there, so before we move the number so that we're not confused, just want to go over the questions first. Well, if you would like, I can present the budget to you. Um, what you have in front of you is a proposed budget of $221,324. Yeah, but that's And that does have a small increase in it. Can I just uh, stop you right there, though? Sure. Yeah. We need to, we need to move the budget line before you present it. Oh, and I thought you so asked you want to weave into... Yeah, I so moved the number that the building inspector offered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. whatever page it's on, anyway. Yeah. Right, let me know what, what you wanted to do. Oh, I'm sorry, 87. Yeah, 87. Is what he was talking about. The total. Okay. Do you have a page for that, Page 85. 87. 87. Oh, the total budget is on 87. Okay. Moved by Tim Jones. Uh, Any second? Mike, you want to move yeah. it? Yeah, second by Mike Cook. 221 was uh, 324. Right. Sorry. That's all right. 324. 324. 324. Yeah. 87. Now, Kevin, if you would proceed if you, and, and okay. presenting it. Yeah. So, again, like I uh, was saying, uh, you have a proposed budget for 221, 324 um, for this upcoming year, which uh, results in a small increase, about 4.21 percent. And that small increase is strictly under wages and salaries. And that increase is due to contractual uh, obligations for a couple of the employees in my office as well as uh, some recommended uh, adjustments as well. Other than that, the rest of my budget is a flat budget, no other changes to any other line items. So having said that, for a point of interest, Paul in my office so efficient, I came in Monday morning, I had my end of the month report up to date. So as of uh, October, the end of October, this year, I have collected in revenue fees collected two hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred and eleven dollars. This year, some change so far. Two thirty. Yeah, two hundred and thirty. I'm at two thirty, and we're pushing them out the door big time, and we still got two months to go. So, you know, Kevin, as long as you keep coming in here, giving us more money than we're giving you. Yeah. I don't know what we got to what we have to discuss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. No, you can't run away yet. I have to leave it open to everybody else. But there's, there's a reality here. Um, well, I believe Jerry did ask him some written, written questions. Yeah, I did see some written questions, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And. I think the question, first question was the wage increases for three people, not in the default budget. Again, that um, looks more like a celebration than a question. I think. Comment. That looks like more like a celebration that it wasn't put in the default budget. <laughs> <laughs> That's good news, right? <laughs> Actually, two of the three um, individuals that will be, see well, two of the individuals will be seeing increases, and they are in the default budget. Is the other loan individual is proposed, and that wouldn't be in the default budget. <coughs> are those two individuals in the default budget contractual? Yes, they are, sir. Okay. So they're properly in the default budget then? Correct, sir. Mm -hmm. They're yeah, the result of collective bargaining? Yes. Co two yes. Teamsters. Two teamsters. Teamsters. They're okay. both teamsters. Yeah. That's okay. totally legit. That's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Done. The, uh, the, uh, the remaining percentage of that you wouldn't see in the default because it's in the proposed budget. That you have before you. Good man. Thank you. There you go. That's where we're supposed to see it. Yes. Oh. So number two, uh, staff applaud. development. Uh, there was a question on that. Um, it didn't jump to eighteen hundred dollars. It has been eighteen hundred dollars. I look back all the way to like two thousand and eleven, I believe. Oh, but it's you haven't spent it. I haven't spent the full amount, correct, no. sir? You've spent, on an average, $1,100 yes, over sir. the last four years. Yep. 
and uh, that's including 2014 annualized. So if you're spending $1,100 a year, I don't think you want to give you 1800 Mm -hmm. I can understand that. I can tell you that there are some things that uh, I would like to attend more often than I do, um, educational-wise. I've been contacted through the New Hampshire Building Officials Association and other things, but um, you know, usually those are all-day affairs, so you're out of the office for the entire day, and right now, the way things are going, I'd rather be here because we've got plenty on our plate. So, yeah, that is it's an accurate statement that it's probably been averaging about $1,100. I haven't done the math, but I'll go with you on that. So uniform expenses next. Yep. We averaged $336 over the last three years. Okay. With two, 2014 annualized. So why are you asking for 600 well, that number's been in there since I can, I can <laughs> remember. <laughs> yes. um, what I do is I have allocated two, $200. There's three inspectors per individual, and we use it as we need it. I think that's okay. reasonable enough. And, um, okay. Thank you, you know, right now, I don't know where we are. I can tell you right where I've, I'm at right now as far as this year goes. Uh, uh, <coughs> you're at uh, two, 266. You annualize that at 354. Yeah, and I do have some invoices coming in because I know one of the inspectors did uh, just get some more winter-type shirts and that, and I, I need a new jacket, so I'm going to be Go buying ahead, one. Go ahead, get yourself. I have one. Okay, uh, moving so, on. So that on. number okay. will be changing. Thank you. Thanks. The gasoline now, question. gasoline is a big one because it not only affects you, but it affects the whole town. Operating budget as well as default budget. Gasoline is falling and will continue to fall. I have done some research on this. And uh, right now, uh, well, last year the average price for gasoline was about three fifty three a gallon. Right now it's, it's about three bucks, the average price for regular. And in Seabrook, you can get it for two ninety two or two ninety three. Crude prices came off the boil. Oil fell from one hundred seven a barrel in June to nearly eighty one because there's so much supply. We're exporting oil, and demand is falling. People are buying fuel-efficient cars, blah, blah, blah. Gasoline prices are falling. I would suggest a 10% cut in all gasoline vehicles in all town, fire, police, DPW, and uh, that would bring the average price from 353 down to about 315, 316. And that's hedging my bets, because it, the, the, the gas prices can come up, too. But I think they're going to continue to fall. They might even get 260, 270-ish before they make the corner and come back up, if they're going to come back up. Jerry, I hear what you're saying. So I don't want to stay. It. I don't know what she figured. Okay. I hear what you're saying, but that's one thing that, as it goes down, it can also go it's back up. It's like the up. stock market. I would say as we get closer to review, we can look at the market, and that's six weeks down the road. Fine. We can look at the market and then take that line in every budget and, every and, budget and consider what default. you're saying right. here for tonight this there's nothing to this budget um well it's in his a line item it's, it's in, in his it's in his line oh, item it's but it's, a, it's an expense that yeah. will transcend through almost right. every budget so May i don't I want to kill it what we figure for can, I, can i just no. touch on that yeah our desk is not you don't look at the market mm -hmm. price because the, the you might contract say, from the state yeah, right. which is a fixed price off of their process I agree with you. We need to look at it globally right. with the new issued prices, right. which right. we just yeah, have to right. explore and see what the number is. Okay. We don't pay taxes. We don't pay those things in the That's top. Right. So our number is lower than what you're talking okay. about. Right. But if you look at the actuals of what's running in most departments, Jerry, we're still running. So, so my point is, I get it. We need right. to look at that globally and revisit it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Six Thank weeks you. as opposed to That's what's going to happen. Right. Too early to mm -hmm. make a decision. Yeah. Well, diesel yeah. fuels. Any other discussion? Uh, yep. Where did we stop? I think he was doing yeah, serious yeah. questions. One more question. Question five. Dealing with vehicle maintenance. Which I think is in here. Somewhere. Yep. Uh, it's on the second, it's on page. It's on second page. Mm. Next page. Question uh, number five. Yeah. Now, vehicle maintenance. 
How, I know when I was a selectman, you got a new vehicle. Yes, sir. Have you gotten any other new vehicle? No, since well, we bought, we, we got a new one back towards the end of 2011, which when we bought it in 11, it was an actually a 2012 vehicle. Yeah. But it was but in, in then, 11. Then. And then we got another one just a year or so ago. So I'm looking at vehicle maintenance and the cost over the last two years we purchased has averaged 572.50. That's good. The yeah. cost. Of, why is why are you coming and asking for 1800? Well, again, that's been the number that has been in there, as you know, for several years. So we haven't adjusted it. Um, it's something we could look at. Uh, I can tell you the one that we did buy back in '11 is uh, is up for tires. So I'm going to hope to get those done before the end of this year because of the winter months coming in. Yeah. I mean, you know, your average vehicle comes through with 50,000 mile tires and you know, we're getting there and sometimes we're in some pretty rough places so. to get into these job sites and that, so they take a licking sometimes. So yeah. so that's, you know, that'll be a $600 expense right there off the top. Right. Uh, for this year, I would imagine, somewhere in that number. So, and then uh, might be something we can look at down the road. I think it is for 015. You plow? I haven't made any. Uh, no, we don't plow. Um, How many miles does that? Items. I'm concerned about gasoline. Yeah. I'm concerned about the equipment maintenance. And, and the, uh, the other one I commented on. Kevin, how many, about how many miles a year do we eat up on the truck? Excuse me? How many miles a year do we eat up on the truck? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't want to just throw a number out there because I don't want to be lying to you. So I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I know that we're probably twenty something, twenty three to twenty five thousand. So that that truck from 2011 already has fifty six, yeah, fifty something, almost sixty thousand. You could be looking at a brake job as well, and you know some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean that's your your basic maintenance. Right. That mm -hmm. that's warranties has expired on it. Right. So I mean anything we put into that right now is. Uh, so it's a vehicle maintenance expense. So that makes eighteen hundred dollars look reasonable. And you want to be cautious if, if he were to suffer an accident on these small budgets like this, mm -hmm. an accident with deductible with the town insurance, thousand dollars, those type of things. So just be mindful of all of them. I mean, Kevin's a great bucks. driver; it's not going to happen. Eighteen hundred <laughs> bucks looks uh, pretty reasonable to me. Okay. Okay. I'll watch. Tomorrow I'll be at work, <laughs> yeah. and you know, naturally. <laughs> 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 yeah, you you jinxed you, yeah. you know, Fifteen yeah. years. <laughs> you know, it's like the mailman that. Yeah, we got a question. We got an accident after right. forty I mean, years. He's got a budget of two sixteen, and he's projecting, you know, two hundred thousand. So he's talking about a budget of sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, two thirty this year. Well, right. that's mm. this year, but I mean, he's, I, this is this right. is no brainer. Sunny. Of course. Mike? Only one quick question. How many vehicles do you have? Two, sir. Two. Thank you. So I have your, your vehicle thing needs to be updated in the back of the book. Say it again? It says two pickup trucks, 2012 sure. Colorado, pickup yeah. trucks, 11,000 and 4,000 miles. Yeah. Mm. So oh, well, I'd have to look. That has to be adjusted. Yeah, that's what I said. It mm. needs to be adjusted. It's not up to date. No, that's that's totally wrong. Okay. I just put it in there. I'm trying to keep them as new as I can, Mike. I don't know if it works. <laughs> well, it's still 2012, but, but it's, it's more psychological than. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you for what you do, and I. Thank you. Mike, you all that more? No, I'm all set. Stephen. I'm all set. Thank you. Thank you. Jim. Unfortunately, I do have some questions. Uh, vehicle maintenance. Uh, I understand the DPW is in the vehicle maintenance. Uh, arena these days for the town? Uh, they do um, our annual inspections mm -hmm. and um, they do the um, required oil changes, you know, lube oil filter right. and rotate, and I ask them to rotate the tires oh. while it's down there Okay. every three to four thousand miles. Okay, and so some of this money is actually being put into, I assume you're paying out of this account. Yeah, we pay. And it I'm goes to DBW. Yep. They, so it's kind of a wash. In we'll get respect. an invoice from them for the oil, for oil filters, whatever they may do mm -hmm. on that. As far as if you needed anything, you know, above and beyond that type of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, we would then bring it to a dealership. Right. So, see, Jerry, some of that is actually staying in-house, so to speak, some of that money. 
I'm just looking at the numbers. I hear you. And uh, did I hear you say, Kevin, that uh, you got two uh, line items, sub line items for eighteen hundred dollars, and it, it seemed like each one of them you felt like you'd be comfortable lowering that a bit. Uh, did I get that sense accurate? The the eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, the, you get two sub line items for eighteen hundred. Staff development and uh, vehicle maintenance. And I got a sense from you that you'd be okay lowering that a little bit, maybe taking twenty percent of shaving or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm told to. Um, I've been holding a, a pretty flat budget for many, many years, and and I feel comfortable with the numbers I have. I don't want to start to regress if I don't have to. I don't know. You know, you take a couple hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there. I mean, that's fine if that's you know what the committee would like well, to well, do. We're only looking at what you're spending. I understand, but um. No, I want to get an accurate sense of what you're comfortable with. I'm not making any advocacy here. No, no, I understand. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with what I submitted. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm done. Button. Are you able to keep current on the inspections? There was a problem with the fire department not having an inspector and delaying the process for lack of staffing. Yeah. Uh, do you have the same sort of problem? Are you getting blowback from the people trying to develop that you can't turn the process around quickly? Um, I can tell you, recently, especially, it just seems like, um, especially after the seafood festival here, there has been an incredible um, increase in just activity. And we are forecasting out three days to get an inspection, but we are trying to accommodate everybody the best we can. And um, we're basically doing uh, every half hour on the half hour, we're doing an inspection. That's starting at 8, and that goes to 4.30. All right, so our plate is full, and you're talking two and a half inspectors out in the field. So that doesn't count what we have to do back at the office, emails, phone calls, review, applications, stuff like that. So we keep them busy. I see this as the mad push before the real cold weather gets here. Mm -hmm. It's not uncommon. So right now, we are for you know we are asking them, and, and the contractors have learned this over the last couple of months, and they they're now calling like we're getting calls today Tuesday for an inspection on Friday. Mm -hmm. You know they're just thinking ahead. We just ask them think a little bit ahead, and if we can squeeze you in, if it's an emergency, we'll. You know, we'll get it done. We haven't been getting really any complaints other than you know, they might be waiting an extra day than they normally would. We don't want to hold up progress. Absolutely not. So I think, you know, we got a good uh, rapport with most everybody out there and the homeowners and stuff like that, so they understand, and, and we're doing the best we can to help. I, agree. I don't think they should expect an overnight response. I mean, Correct. three days, yeah. I think it's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Sure. And that's just my opinion. Well, I appreciate that. May I add a comment, personal comment? I'm going to keep going around first. No questions. Okay. From my experience, your department's been wonderful. Every time we've called, you've said two or three days out, and you've been there, and you've delivered. So I have no problem with that one. Well, there you go. Good to hear. Mr. Ladd's question. No, I, can, I can always the same thing, being a contractor, electrical contractor. I mean, yep. He's great. There's no issues. Beautiful. None. You're hearing it from the... Uh, there you go. Coming right from the field, so there you go. Consumer. Just that's that's great to hear. It'll be all right, but other than that... <laughs> I'll catch that's up with you later. I'll let you buy the new coat. <laughs> 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 no, I have nothing. I think I'll get a lot of work coming out of this. All right, Glenn. So. All right. Moved by Tim. Seconded by Mike. Yep. Yeah. 221,324. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.